VivoBooks come in all shapes and sizes, from 14-inch convertibles to large and powerful laptops with the latest and most powerful available hardware. Today, we have a mix of both. In the face of the ASUS VivoBook 15X 1502, which has a plethora of different hardware options depending on what you need. This is what an affordable laptop should look like. Stay with us to see why. The VivoBook 15 is as stylish as ever, offering three color options, Ice Light Silver, Quiet Blue, or Terracotta, so you can do a fair bit of self-expression depending on what you pick. In terms of materials, we have plastic all around, but there is internal support with an aluminum frame below the base, which makes the laptop sturdy. This combination also keeps the laptop light, weighing only 1.7 kilograms and having a profile of 19.9 millimeters. What's more impressive is the antimicrobial treatment, which covers the base, touchpad and palm rest area. It inhibits the growth of bacteria by 99%. The lid can lay completely flat, giving a pretty good view of the base. There's the keyboard and touchpad, both of which are great to use. The keycaps have a dish design, so they're a bit indented for better comfort. The spacing between the keys is great as well, which can only enhance the typing experience. What's more, the key travel is long and the feedback is clicky, so if you're a writer, you'll definitely be happy with the VivoBook 15. The touchpad has an optional fingerprint reader embedded into the pad surface. The left side has just one full-sized USB 2.0 port for peripherals, while the right side is much more populated. There, we see the power plug, an HDMI 1.4 port, two 5 gigabit full-sized USB ports, one 5 gigabit USB Type-C port, and an audio jack. The full HD IPS panel on the VivoBook 15 is pretty sharp delivering a high contrast ratio and a decent peak brightness of 250 nits. The bezels on the device are very thin, including the top and bottom, despite housing an HD webcam with a manual webcam shield, as well as microphones with AI noise reduction. The VivoBook 15 lasts for 8 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing or 6 hours and 5 minutes of video playback. Good results given the small 42 watt hour battery pack. The Core i5 in our configuration does well for what it is, as Intel improved its processors a lot, adding additional cores, which in turn boost performance. Not only that, but you can even go for an Alder Lake P-Series CPU with a lot more power. The U-Series CPU is easy to cool down, so a setup with one pipe and one fan feels to be enough. Models with the more powerful P-Series processors do come with a second heat pipe. Under full load, the Core i5-1235U here blows past its 15-watt base TDP, spiking up to 39 watts in short bursts, while maintaining 27 watts for longer periods. Temperatures aren't an issue as well, as even at the last stage of our stress test, the laptop keeps a low outside temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The laptop comes with good upgradability, as despite the 8GB of soldered memory, you get one SODIMM slot. Storage-wise, there's one M.2 PCIe X4 slot for the modern and fast Gen 4 SSDs. The selection of hardware and wide I.O. make the VivoBook 15 an ideal daily driver for people who don't want to spend a ton when picking out a new device without missing anything important. On top of that, you get some unique ASUS features, such as AI noise reduction and the webcam shield, all of which prove that VivoBook should be the role model for all affordable devices out there.